Hey, what's up everybody? This is Leroy and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke, where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of. Because that's what it's all about, living the life we've always dreamed of. So I'm coming here today, got another Prison Tales video. This one's a little different because I've talked a lot about being in prison, what it was like being in prison, but I've never really talked about the stuff that put me in prison. So what I'm going to talk about now are the three crimes that put me on probation, which started my started my path towards prison. So when I was about mm, 16, 17, 16 to 17, we decided, I, I, I don't know, I say we decided, but I don't even know who decided it. One day we were just, I think we were walking down the road coming back from a buddy's house and at the end of my road, there's a trailer and uh, I don't know who lived in it, never met the person that lived in it, but we decided to break into it. And I remember now looking back on it, it's really weird because it was like nighttime and you know, I never, once I really got into breaking into houses, doing stuff at night, that's, that's just foolish because people are home. But uh, yeah, so it was at this time I'm like I said I'm 16 and just dumb you know just completely stupid so we broke into this house I don't recall stealing anything I just remember being in the house and honestly I don't even recall the layout of the house I remember I don't even remember turning the lights on it was dark inside the house and this is how the memory I'm seeing it in my mind like I said you'd think something like that would be a memory that's pretty vivid the first time you committed a home invasion but man i tell you it's it's all a blur and so i just remember being in the house and it was dark and we we're walking around the house and we we're kind of looking at things and it was just this this thrill this adrenaline rush of being doing something I don't want to say illegal, which obviously it was illegal, but that wasn't the rush I was getting. It was just the thrill of doing something that I shouldn't be doing, being somewhere I shouldn't be, and things like that. So that was the first B and E I committed. And when I tell the story and when I think back on it, it's just like it almost seems like a letdown with this all the stories I have and all the details I remember, something like like this. I don't really recall it. And the second one, B and E that I did, very similar. Right across the road from that trailer was a pole barn. We broke into the pole barn. And I remember there wasn't a lot of stuff that we took. We took some things, but there wasn't a lot of stuff in there. There was a lot of um maybe construction equipment, stuff like that, you know, that you would normally find in a pole barn and the only thing I remember out of this pole barn was this gas mask. It was like a painter's mask. And what we would do is we turned it into a bong, of course, because that's all we did is smoke weed. Well, it had the two little things on the side that you would screw your filters in. Well, we'd plug this one off, put a bong in this side, and then just breathe. And it would bring all the smoke in and it's all covered all in your face in this uh gas mask and then you're just breathing in the smoke and yeah so that's that was the big brain stuff that we did and so we got that but the the first it would be my third b and e that's the one i remember the most that's the one that i got uh caught and arrested for so i really remember this one we'd skip school and we were walking. I want to say that it, it was me, my brother, and another guy. And the other guy was like, hey, you know, me and some other guy broke into a house over here. Let's let's go. And we're like, oh, cool. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's check it out. And I think our big brain asses might have um, broke into the same house that he broke into. But I'm not 100% certain on that. But anyways, so we go down, we break into this house and we come along the back. It's a condo setting, you know, where there's uh, like a, a housing association and 
we break in the back through a sliding door that's out by the lake. So we we get over, we get into the house, and I remember we're looking around the house, and it's one of those like uh, three story houses. The basement opens up into the uh, out onto the to the lake or whatever. Then you got the main floor, and then an upstairs, and so just just your a basic basic condo and like a housing association. So we're in here, we're going around. I remember looking for a bunch of stuff and then we're just going through, going through everything. And I'm, I remember, I remember being nervous. I ended up, I ended up taking a, a shit in the, in their bathroom. And the, the other two guys with me were like, dude, are you serious? I'm like, dude, I got shit. And they're like, you're, you're crazy. I'm like that. They're, they're, they're like, you, you're crazy. What happens if someone, and I mean, think about it. What happens if someone comes home and you're just on the shitter? I mean, that's some, that's ballsy or I don't even want to say ballsy. That's just completely stupid. I was a, I was a genius. I, I was, a, we were some big brains back then, you know, so, but anyways, so then, you know, we're going through this house and I remember I'm in one room talking to my brother and the other dude comes running in. He's got some girl's underwear on his head. And I'm like, he's like, oh, look at me, look at me. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? You look like an idiot. Get the underwear off your head, you perv. And uh, so he's like, oh, running around. I'm just like, Jesus. Just, and I'm looking at my brother and I'm like, it's a good thing all this happened when I was a teenager because like, let's say I'm committing crimes now and I had a jackass co-defendant that was doing dumb stuff like that. I'm not going to lie. I probably would take him out because I'm like, that guy's a loose end and he's the reason we're going to get caught. But holy hell, man. I'm just like, oh, you idiot. So I remember we end up going through the house and I get down into the uh, living room. I'm in the kitchen and I get down into the living room and I look on the mantel and there's a family, family portrait up there. And I'm just like, Oh, I know the girl in that picture. Not only do I know the girl in that picture, but we have classes together at school. We're in the same grade. And I'm like, Ah, oh, shit. So I tell everyone, I was like, hey, come on, man. We got, let's get out of here. And it wasn't enough for me to put the stuff back. You know, no one or wasn't enough. I was like, but it was just like, come on, let's, let's go. We got to get out of here. I was like, I know, I, I know this, girl. this, you know, so, but, uh, maybe my conscious got a hold of me a little bit. Conscious didn't get a hold of me enough that I, like I said, that I put the stuff back, but we left and didn't do much of anything else. I do remember, just as we're getting ready to leave, like um, the utility company was coming up and they were checking the electricity or they were checking cable or something like that. And we're like, oh shit, there's somebody, there's somebody out there. That's, that's our way out, blah, blah, blah. You know, cause it was out the back way towards the lake. And then they ended up going up and around and we're looking and, and uh, we see them leave. And I remember we grab our stuff and we just bolt down to the lake, which you think that would just be suspicious as all hell seeing three kids running out of a house foot with bags of stuff you know down to the lake and running but you know like i said i was an idiot then so we get back and we got all the stuff you know and i want to say that that guy not me and my brother but the other the other kid that was with us he might have went back and broke into the house again a third time, but I, I don't think so. I think what got us busted were a set of old coins. And the reason I'm saying this is I don't remember if he got the old coins when he broke into the house with us or if he had gone back and broke into the house again. For some reason, I'm thinking he went with somebody else and they broke into the house again. And, uh, that's why he ended up with the old coins. But anyway, so he ends up with the old coins and he needed a ride somewhere. 
Another kid from school gave him a ride, so he paid the guy for gas money with some of these old coins. Well, then that guy ended up sitting in class one day, and he's playing with this coin in class, you know, just running it on his fingers or flipping it or doing whatever he's doing. Anyways, he's playing with it. And the girl that we had broken into her house was like, dude, let me see that coin. And he's like, what's up? She's like, this this coin was stolen from my house. My dad has a coin collection, and this this coin was stolen from it. And he's like, look, I had nothing to do with that. I gave so-and-so a ride. He gave me gas money. This was what he gave me the gas. This is how he paid me. He paid me in some, you know, dollar coins or whatever. And she's like, yeah, this is stolen. This was stolen from my house. And uh, so basically once they found that out, cops got called. He got arrested. He turned on us. We got arrested. So my brother went into uh, juvie. Uh, juvenile court. He didn't go to actual, not like juvie prison. He went to, through juvenile court, and I think he got a year probation. I went through what was known as, I went into adult court because I was 16, I was 17 at the time. So I went into adult court, and I was like, uh, I had just turned 17, I think, or I was turning 17, one or the other. So like I said, I'm in adult court, but they had what was known as uh, the Haida Act, and that's the Holmes Youthful Training Act. In Michigan, it's this act that anybody that was under the age of 18, if it was your first crime, um, they would give you three years probation, and if you uh, finished all your terms of the probation and did all the probation just right, they would wipe it clear, no harm, no foul, the record would be sealed, and you'd be good to go. And it was like you didn't even have the, you know, it was, it was one of those second chance things. So I had that. I got that. Three years probation. So it was like, okay, when I turn 20, I'll be off probation. And as long as I keep my nose clean, which I wasn't very good at doing. So, but then after all this, I'm still in school with the girl in classes, at least one class, probably more, that I broke into this girl's house. She's never said anything to me. She's never looked at me sideways. Nobody has said anything sideways to me. And I'm just like, huh. So I remember we're in chemistry class and she was in chemistry class with me. Well, we had a lab one day and I go and I'm in this, there's this little black back room in the back of the uh, lab. It's got all, it's a storage closet. It's got all the, you know, beakers and all the little glassware you need for all the different, you know, the different chemical components that they had. And uh, so, like I said, I'm in this room and I'm by myself in the room and she walks in and I'm like, oh shit, she is about to rip into me over this and she's like Leroy and I'm like yeah what's up she's kind of looking at me and I'm just like oh and I was nervous because I knew she was gonna rip into me I just knew it and she was like I'm throwing a party this weekend and I want to make a bong uh what could I use in these beakers to make a bong and I was just like what's what's going on here what is she, is she trying to set me up? Is she trying to set me up for my, you know, so I get in trouble with my probation officer? And I'm like, man, this is all running through my head. And I'm just like, hmm. So I was like, well, how many people are going to be smoking out of it? She's like, well, I think there will be about 10, 15 people there. Maybe half of them will smoke. I said, do you want them to pass it around or do you want something cool where they can all smoke out of it at the same time? And she was like, that would be cool. So I started handing her all these beakers and hoses and I was like, you need this, you need this, you need this, and you need this and hook this up here, hook this up here, put water over here, put your, you know, your bowl right here. And I was like, these hoses come off, you know, you can get hoses, they come off here. I said, they can all hit off that ho that at the same time and it was just a badass bong she's like oh that's so awesome thank you thank you and I'm just like yeah no problem and afterwards she told me 
She's like, dude, that bong was the, that bong was the hit of the party. That was so awesome. And I'm like, hey, thanks, no problem, you know. And she was like, thank you so much. And she never once ever said anything to me about breaking into her house. But the other guy that broke in with us, the one that had the old coins and used that for gas, she ripped him a new asshole up one side and down the other. And I mean, to the point was where she was just like, if you even look sideways at me, she's like, I will tear you to pieces. Oh man, it was... It was crazy, and it was like I, I never understood why she never ripped into me, me or my brother. She never, she never did. I mean, I had a reputation at school of being an asshole, and but uh, I mean, I was a likable asshole. Everybody liked me. I could fit into every crowd, but I would also fight at the drop of the hat, and I'd fight anybody, and they knew that also. But I, I can't imagine that she would think that I'd whoop her ass for saying something, you know. But yeah, she never said nothing to me. And it was crazy. And that's what put me on probation. And it's, I was just talking to my brother about this story. He's like, dude, I barely remember anything about that. He's like, that's crazy. And I'm like, you remember the utility people coming up? And he's like, oh, shit, yeah. He's like, now I remember that. He's like, I'd forgotten all about that. I said, remember, dude, running around with the underwear on his head? And he's like, dude, I'd forgotten about that, too. He's like, yeah, the underwear. Underwear on his head, running around. And the one thing I remember out of all this, this was how lax things were at my house. My mom was pissed when we got found out. And she was like, he... Me? You're the fat guy. Yes? You want him to be on camera? I'm doing a video. You want your boobs on camera? You're doing a video? Yeah. No, I don't want my boobs on camera. Oh, okay. People people don't like hair uh, tassels that's, that that's are made hair. out of hip nipple hair. Hip I was going to say, that's hair. Those aren't tassels. It's <laughs> Those hair. Those aren't tassels. That's fucking nipple hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have so, a good day. Yeah, you too. That's the uh, fork truck operator here that we sexually harass each other, so... Yeah, it happens. But, um, yeah, my mom was so mad that we did this. And I remember her yelling at us and stuff like that. But it didn't last long. And then I swear the thing she was the maddest about is there was a... We had stolen a bunch of Sega games. And one of the games was an Aladdin game. And it ended up being... You know, it ended up having to go back because it was stolen property. And I think she was more mad about losing that Aladdin game than she was about us being arrested. It's like, yeah, yeah, but that was us. That was a, that was our big brain moment of doing doing uh, crimes, and that's what put me on the three years probation. Obviously, I didn't make that three years probation. I ended up, I ended up, uh, violating it within i was gonna say within less little over a year 13 months i was heading to prison you know so yeah i didn't last very long but that's a story for another time because this one's at almost 20 minutes so all right everybody we all have a good day and uh like i say don't commit crimes prison sucks that's the uh that's the lesson of the day stay out of prison so all right have a good one